we want to win the ACC and like to get in the playoffs. And you look at those teams that are in there right now, they're all explosive teams. You know, they're, they're scoring a lot of points. That's the way college football is, is somewhat evolved. So we'd like to move in that direction and get a little faster, uh, get smarter, you know. Got a couple of young guys that are coming on that uh, I like with the way they've progressed from, from last year. So you don't want to mix. We, we want to use multiple formations, want to use multiple personnel groupings. I think that's a, a real factor in, in complicating our offense, making it tough for the defense. I think the guys are now being able to study their own tape has really, really uh, helped our guys as I've seen them go through you know, their winter conditioning program. So I think there's a lot more confidence than what we had last year at this point. You know, I'm excited about Kenny Pickett and where he's going to go. I think a lot of people forget where he was. You look at, you know, he's had two coordinators. His first year with Sean Watson, he's got four games he gets in and comes, you know, beats Miami, plays a heck of a game, did a lot of it with his feet, but he plays four games. So, I mean, you know, scratch that year. Next year, we're run-oriented offense. Um, so he's got a second year of, uh, you know, run-oriented offense and, and we have some great success with rushing the football and, and he takes it to an ACC championship. You, you put into year three, all of a sudden now we got a new offensive coordinator, all of a sudden now we're throwing the ball around and he becomes a passing quarterback. So this is his second full year as a passing quarterback and, and obviously we're going to run the ball a heck of a lot better than we did a year ago, but the terminology is going to be all the same. Kenny's really come a long ways, you know, just uh, I really love coaching him, uh, love the way he goes about his, his business, passionate, you know, I think you'll see a lot more leadership from him coming in, a lot more confidence and, uh, you know, he played really well in a bowl game. He did a really good job in the two minute drills. If you look back, I think five or six. We scored at the end to win the game, and, and uh, that, has, that, that comes down to great quarterback play, so we're looking for big things from him. Pickett is back. Here's the blitz. He throws a pass down the middle. It's caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Panthers. It's pulled in by Malik Turner, who refused to go down, and the Panthers are back on top. Imagine if we had another coordinator this year, how much it would hurt Kenny Pickett. So I'm excited about that and excited about the, the talent level and, and leadership that Kenny's going to provide the Panthers this year. I've been in a lot of quarterback rooms. You know, you worry about sometimes when you bring somebody in, but that hasn't been the case. Our, the upper guys that have been here have really helped Joey. You know, Davis has been good, Nick, Kenny, obviously. Joey was a, you know, was an interesting uh, commitment. Um, you know, we didn't have an official visit. We had limited contact with him. We had to FaceTime him for his, uh, for his really, you know, look at the, the campus. And he committed to us off of FaceTime and, and phone calls and trust of who, uh, who we were as people. You know, he started against USC uh, in his first contest, you know, played with a dislocated shoulder and still had a heck of a game. And he's a talented guy. Uh, that, that is a kind of a gym rat as far as football goes. So he spent a lot of time here in the off season just coming in saying, Coach Whipple, do you have time to talk ball? So we're excited about him. Great, great family, great kid, and he adds to the depth of that quarterback room. Those guys have worked well together in the, in the things we've done. I mean, you got to have competition. So, you know, we'll just see how that, that plays out. But nobody's ever said they have enough good players. So I, f I feel like, um, you know, we're, we're, we're headed in the right direction. Woo! Here we go, baby. Day one, you already know. Let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> Lucas is a guy that's got experience and played in the SEC. He didn't catch a lot of balls, but seems like he's got a lot of talent, and I like the way he's approached things. So we got some young guys, so I, I think that uh, we'll be pleasantly surprised where we're headed in the tight end room. You know, besides you know where he is as, as a football player and the way he runs down the field, which I think is going to be different than what we've seen here the last few years. I think he's a special guy that can play at the next level. Um, you know, his 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 leadership as a transfer, his intelligence and his love and passion for the game of football. Not just playing tight end. He's a guy who played on almost every special team. He ran down on the kickoff for, at the University of Florida. So uh, we're excited about what he brings, not only on the football field but as a leadership uh, that he can bring to the table. You know, I think anytime there's a change as a head football coach, you know, you go, oh man, we've got to hire a new guy. And, and you loved what we had in the past. And uh, the, the change to Mike Stacchiotti has been outstanding. It's really been a breath of fresh air. Uh, you know, it's just having a new voice, uh, a new way of thinking. And I think that's been probably the most refreshing part of the whole, you know, change there. Because it's, you know, change is never easy. And no different than an offense, a defense coordinator is a, is a uh, you know, strength coordinator, but he's really, you know, fit right in with our kids. They build a relationship down there that really is different than what we had in the past. First period, two plays, 
Again, we got a big run and a big pass on the offense, which is outstanding. Okay, big two, two big touchdowns. Defense, you're great for six six plays. You are outstanding. It's no game, but it also takes us also takes us a couple big plays. It's all that, right, Coach Bates? Yes, sir. So we still got a ways to go. We're going to keep getting better. We're going to keep competing, but we got to do it together as a team. We good? Okay. So when I look at our ten coaches, it's all similar. I think you look throughout the country. You look at what your head coach does and kind of where he is and how he coaches. You know, you're going to find the assistants kind of fall into that same type of deal. I mean, I can't say, you know, everybody's exactly the same, but I think what you'll find is, is you know, we're going to coach in a positive way, you know, regardless of what we do. I mean, we're not going to go out there and scream at our kids and, and coach them down. We're going to try to always be positive. So Coach Whipple and Coach Bates are both very positive. They're coming from a positive guy. I'm always trying to keep it positive, even though it's, the staff will probably say maybe I'm negative in the meetings, but it's what we are around our kids. When, when our coaches approach our kids, I think, we're, you know, we have a positive attitude.